With digital art, we can make people think things are happening that aren't actually happening. I want people to think about what could be possible. Right now I'm working on a project with Design Milk that's based on the Genesis G70. It was a really interesting challenge for me. Usually I have a completely blank page when I make something and now I get to make a piece of art that's based on the car and that's just awesome. I have been a technical artist, a software developer, and most recently a, a technical designer. I spent a lot of my time in my previous jobs thinking about what life is gonna be like in a couple years, and that's where most of my art lives. I use software traditionally used for making video games, and you can mix in laws of physics if you want, you can make things have gravity, you can make things collide, you can make basically anything that could happen in real life, minus all the rules. People reach out to me and want to buy these things that don't exist outside of the computer. I think it emphasizes just this place and time that we're in. I'm actually trying to take those things that can only exist in the future and, and put them in our present. I really like fast cars, so when I just kind of started brainstorming what I was going to do for this project, the main feeling I wanted to impart was the experience of driving the car. I wanted to include certain details of the car that I especially found intriguing. So all the geometry and the entire experience is sourced from the car. So like the world that the car is moving through are pieces of the grill and the headlights and the rear view mirrors. The road that's on is even a stretched out version of one of the undercarriage parts. At any given point, if you press pause, I want it to still feel like you're moving through space very fast. 